All right, so what I have here for you guys today are uh, three of my SFIC padlocks. Um, just in case you guys are wondering what SFIC stands for. It stands for uh, Small Format Interchangeable Core. I can show you how it works real fast. So uh, let me grab this American lock right here. And then, let me see, I forgot which key it was. I think it was this one here. Oh no, actually, it's this one. All right, so got yourself the... Uh, Two keys. One is a operating key, and one is a control key. Uh, the operating key is for uh, unlocking the lock itself, and for the control key, it's for actually uh, removing the core if you ever need to replace it or anything like that. So, control key, you give it a turn, and then this thing slides out, and then you could put something else in there or uh, replace it with something else. Um, most of the places that have SFIC cores are like big high security companies. The only places that I've seen that have SFIC cores are airports and casinos. So uh, yeah, so today I'm going to try and pick all three of these locks. Um, most of the keyways on these are pretty much the same. Uh, I don't know how I ended up with all the same here except these two are probably uh, K keyways since they're pretty similar. And this one is a L keyway, which is just slightly different. Um, apparently they got like, I don't know, maybe 26 different keyways, different wardings and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and pick these because SFIC cores are supposed to be, you know, high, super tight tolerances just because, you know, they're in airports and uh, casinos and other high security places and stuff like that. So I'm going to be using bottom the keyway for this one here. Let me see, uh, there we go. Main reason why is because uh, the warding on this is pretty crazy, so I need all the space I could get. Peterson hook one, and we're going to start on the front here. So, number one is springy. I'm using a pretty heavy tension, medium to heavy. Um, three, Nothing. Four. Nothing on four. Click on five. Nothing on six. And seven. Got a click. And I think I picked it to control here. So, so much for that one. That's one down. Uh, number two here. So, let me use on the keyway as well. We uh, that one should be good. All right, try this one. Same hook. Starting on one. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Uh, three is a bit springy. I think I had to click on five. I click on. Six. So start back to the front. One is moving, so I'm going to try to force him up there. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Click on three. Click on four. Springing on five. Nothing on six. So I think I probably overset something. Let me reset. And then try again. Start start on two here. Three, four on, click on four, click on five, click on six, I believe. Let's try one. Click on one. There we go. Sorry, I wasn't explaining. I was just kind of confused. All right, that one picked into control as well. And then the last one here, uh, same keyway, except I believe this one has uh, an extra pin. This one had six. This one has seven, I believe. 
So we're going to use the same bottom of the keyway here. And then same hook. So let me start on the first one here. Number one is springy, I believe. Nothing on one, two, nothing on two, three, still springy. Oh, click on three. Um, number four, it's uh, binding, but it's not moving. Number five, click on five, six, click on six. And let me see if I could get to seven. I think seven is probably set. Start back up the front here. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Oh, and another pick to control. So as you can see, um, you might be thinking, well, pick to control isn't the same thing. But if you pick it to control, you can take the cylinders out. And then you see two pegs in there. And you can still open it with those two pegs. I usually like to get a pick. Stick my pick in there. And then you could turn it like a key. So you gotta just stick it in between those two uh, prongs, two of those uh, rods, and you could open it back up. So it's almost like the same thing. I think uh, picking to control is a little bit better. So you could, uh, you know, still use the lock body. And if you lost the key to this, you could just toss it. And uh, yeah, so I can show you guys that these things are fully pinned. So you guys don't think uh, I'm gonna pin like, there's only like two of these, or three pins in here. So let me see, let me go lock it back into control here. I think this is the right key. And to tell if it's fully pinned, you just turn this all the way around and you could see that each of the holes are filled with a pin. So these things are fully pinned up. As you can see, there's uh, seven pins in there. So this one's good. Try this one here. So let me go lock this one back up into control. And then turn this whole thing around. Yep, got six pins in there. So you guys are probably wondering, well, how you know it's uh, pinned up on the top here. Well, apparently they have like uh, special equipment to make one of these. Um, not too sure how they make it in particular, but you can't really take these things apart. Uh, the last video I did, I took one apart, but it took me like two and a half hours to get it back together. So after doing some research, they have special tools. They cost around 150 bucks. Um, you actually have to drive these things in, plug them in, and then, you know, it's uh, a tedious process, which I won't be able to do because the equipment's like 150 bucks. And for the third one here, I'm just... Uh, Lock this one back up into, uh, and then here's the key. Yep, and you can see that all of them is uh, filled up too. So yep, there you have it. Three uh, SFIC cores all picked to control. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.